Thank you, Representative Flanagan, for sitting down and talking to us. My pleasure. Can you tell us why you decided to run for state representative and who was the first person you told? Um, well, uh, I decided to run for state representative because, um, you know, we had a real champion for working families and Representative Ryan Winkler, and I thought that I could help continue um, that work when he decided uh, to, to step down. Um, you know, myself, I grew up uh, with a single mom, and she worked really hard, and a lot of the the public programs um, that are available uh, to families were available to mine and you know helped really lift us out of poverty and so I want to make sure that I'm able to continue to, to advocate uh, for, for working families and for you know frankly uh, kids like me and the families that I the family that I grew up in. And now who was the first person that you told when you decided to run? Well of course uh, I talked to my husband <laughs> you know we had a you know we had a a long conversation as a family about, um, you know, if it was the right time and, uh, and decided uh, that, you know, um, it was the right time to, to step forward. And of course, you know, I called, I called my mom, who is, uh, you know, my hero and just works so hard for us. And, um, you know, uh, part of the reason that I do what I do is because, is because of her. So uh, it was a phone call I was really excited to make and um, she's been incredibly, incredibly supportive. Can you tell us a little bit about your district and what your constituents care about? So I represent uh, St. Louis Park, Golden Valley, Plymouth, and Medicine Lake. Um, so, you know, we've got a fairly diverse uh, district, even geographically. Um, you know, spent a lot of time on the doors uh, this, this summer talking to folks, and clearly um, the most important issue uh, to folks in our community is, is education, is public education, um, pre-K uh, all the way to, to higher ed. So folks, um, we had a lot of conversations about that. Um, the environment and sustainability is also an issue uh, that we, we heard a lot about um, on the doors. And frankly, just um, you know, making sure that uh, hardworking folks um, you know, can, can make a, a good living where they can support their family. So, you know, um, and a lot of my time this summer is just spent listening to people, getting to know them, and letting them, you know, finding out what uh, priorities are so I can uh, work on those issues uh, this session. Describe what type of legislator you hope to be. Well, you know, my background um, has been as a community organizer. Um, you know, the first campaign that I ever worked on was in 2002 for Paul Wellstone, and it sort of changed everything. I was going to be an early childhood special education teacher. That was my plan after college. I was going to take a year off and then go back to school and get my master's degree, and then I worked for Senator Wellstone, and I was like, oh, this. Um, uh, electoral politics can be uh, a really positive thing and way to, to, to make change um, in our state and in our country. And so kind of got bit by the bug and kept working on campaigns. And um, I worked for Wellstone Action uh, for the organization that was founded um, in his memory and worked with folks all across the country to make progressive change, to run for office, work on campaigns, um, uh, move organizing initiatives, and so that is sort of the the heart of where I come from. And um, in my role with the executive as the executive director of Children's Defense Fund Minnesota, worked hard to um, pass the minimum wage index to inflation um, uh, for for children and families in this state. And so that is sort of the the spirit um, that I hope to bring uh, into uh, into the office and work in partnership and collaboration um, with the community, uh, make sure that I'm really listening to folks and that people, um, inviting people into the Capitol um, who may not, you know, have, have been here before and trying to make the legislative process more accessible for regular folks. Can you tell us about a book or a movie you've recently read or seen? Um, wow. So a lot of the books or movies that I've recently uh, seen or read um, are uh, Disney movies um, or Disney books uh, because I have an almost three-year-old daughter at home. So that is what sort of dominates, um, dominates our life uh, right now. Um, but, uh, you know, did, did see, not with my daughter, right, because she's not old enough yet, but recently saw the new Star Wars movie. Um, it was awesome, and I may have seen it uh, more than once in the theater, 
and uh, you know, just I'm really excited that the the new heroine um, Ray is a young woman, um, and think that uh, that's exciting. And hopefully, right is also a sign of things to come uh, at the legislature that we'll have more women in leadership. Um, you know, maybe they're not all going to be Jedi's, but you know, we'll do the best, the best that we can.